Hey, what's going on guys? How you all doing well? So it's a hot day today. It's the middle of the heat wave. Well, not even in the proper heat wave yet to be fair, it's going to get hotter. But yeah, I'm just out on the canal today. We're going to do a bit of light low fishing for perch. Try and catch a bunch of small perch, you know, it's probably the safest thing to target when it's hot and miserable. But yeah, they're quite fired up today. I've already caught like 10, 15 perch for a different video. For this video, we're going to try a few bit, few different baits that I've had in my box for ages. Never really used, never caught on. Mainly, I want to catch on this little cricket thing right here. Um, I think that should be interesting. So yeah, we're going to try a few different lures. We're going to mix it up a bit. We're going to see what they're after. I know they've been pretty fired up. They've been quite shallow. And uh, yeah, I hope they're still aggressive when I start filming this. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get right into it now. The fish are on. They're around. We're going to catch them. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Right, guys. Just from the little how-to video for perch fishing. The perch have been pretty fired up while I've been doing that. They seem to have sat down now. I'm going to see if I can catch some on this mini little spinner bait as well. Bought this um, a while ago now. A strike king, mini king. Um, <laughs> it was like £2.50, that's the only reason I bought it. Not a massive spinner bait user, but I figured while the perch fired up, this might be money. So I'm going to tie this on. I've been fishing with a little shad. I've had probably 10 perch in about... 15 minutes, something like that. So they have been fired up. We'll see if they still are or not. Um, oh, that's not too bad. It took a little while to get stable, but looks all right now. See if anything's smack it anyway. Oh, it's kind of weird trying to get it to swim straight. I know there's a lot of perch around the area. And hopefully they'll smash this. Just need to find out what depth they want it at. I'm gonna run it too shallow or too deep. Oh, yeah, one here then. Okay, they will take it. Loads followed it as well. Okay, okay, okay. They'll take it. I think it hit the blade that, but there was about 10 perch following it up. That was cool to see. Hopefully, I can zoom in on that on the camera, but yeah, they were after it then. Damn, man. There's like yeah, 20 perch. They're all smallish. They're like 15 to 20 centimeter size, but Really cool to see them all nailing after it then. I'm going to try something that I've had for ages as well, which is this little cricket or grasshopper, whatever it is. Little ultra light there, just a single barbless hook on that. It's super light, might be a bit too light to cast. Hopefully, it swims alright. Ooh, that looks really good in the water actually. Little cricket. Come on, perch. I've seen them chasing other stuff. Just struggling to get them to commit. Oh, one followed it up then, actually. One came right from under my feet and followed it up. Okay, that's a good spot. I was just cast into them. There we go. Oh, I had a hit. Ah. Right mid center of the canal, that. Come. Oh, one under it, one under it. Come on. Oh, it's got hit. Come on. Getting hit. The far for it then. Still a few under it. Still hitting it. Just not properly. Should be able to see him now. Loads for it then. Man. Super aggressive, just hitting it really like shyly. Oh, some under it. Loads on that. Loads on that. Oh, yeah, got one, got one, got one. Yes, while they were fired up, another one chasing it. Yes, finally I had to rip that in so it didn't come off. Barely hooks on a little grass off there. Get out of the fire dock. Come on. Took some effort to get that first fish caught then. But yeah, they were super on it. Oh, they're still fine. You can see the shoulder of them punting. Cruising around with this patch of weed that's drifting down. Let's 
so, so difficult to cast such a light bait even when there's a, just a tiny bit of wind. Oh, they're on it, they're on it, they're on it. Come on. Now they're gone. They were on it. About seven or eight perch shot out for it then and just turned, didn't even bite it. So many fish here. Oh, they're on it again. Oh yes, there we go. Hooked. That's a better one as well. Come on, buddy. I hate single hooks. Oh, getting followed. That's a decent one. Ugh. It's not massive, but for a little cricket there, I will take that all day. Beauty. Oh, that was well hooked, that one then. Get him back. Little grasshopper crickety thing. Definitely works. Now the, like, the fish are a bit more fired up. Just getting the blur in that exact spot where they are and then trying to present it there as slowly as possible. Getting to fly out for it. See, that's just cast that to the same spot. I just caught a fish. Nothing moved out for it then. I've had two perch on it now. So it worked. Now, loads of them chasing it. Oh, hooked up, fell off, hooked up, fell off, hooked up. Yes, there we go. They're all chasing this in as well. Come on, buddy. It's slightly, well, not that slightly better, but it's better than a lot of the ones that follow them up. Another perch. Cast right down there. There's so many followed it then. But you can see now, like, before I was getting tons and tons of bites and not hooking any. Now they've switched, the, the canal started pushing through a bit switched on just a bit more and actually hitting it properly some of them are anyway yeah oh man yeah oh better ones chasing it then oh still on it still on it they're, they're fighting for it now oh that was a good fish that followed it then <sighs> that was a nice one that swirled on it little one's back on it oh nice to know that there's some good fish around now that was a really nice one that followed it that time it, was, it wasn't a huge perch, but way better than what I've been getting. Like a 35er maybe. I think when I switch to something more finesse, I might have a chance at one of those. There we go. It's a slightly bigger. Not too bad. Well, oh, I got followed up by a few as well. I was dead on the bottom that one. Oh, so bro. Don't want to try on the hog now and get you back quick. But yeah, that was uh, dead on the bottom. A little Kofi Bleak. Twitching it along. Didn't even feel the bite then, I just felt the weight of the fish and set the hook just in case it was a fish. And uh, yeah, it was. So yeah, either there's been fish on the bottom all the time or they've just all moved down now. But they're definitely not biting as high up as they were. And there was a bite straight away on the bottom. So yeah, I think, I think they've moved down. So another little tip for you, just, you know, if you stop getting bites, don't keep doing the same thing. Try and mix it up a bit. Let's try to see why you've stopped getting bites. Maybe they've switched locations, switched depth, switched onto a different type of feeding. And uh, yeah, you should be able to figure them out and start catching fish again. Well guys, I was hoping to catch one more perch at least, but that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna call it there. The perch have completely switched off. They're literally just sunbathing with all the rud and everything in the middle of the canal. But you know, we caught a bunch of fish. We caught on the cricket slash grab up grasshopper thing so yeah that's that's good that's what we wanted we've got, we've got a few perch on a few other things as well so yeah we had a fun time for this time of year in this sort of weather did pretty well i think it's uh yeah not the best weather to be fishing in caught a bunch of fish had a good time gonna go home now and probably be sunburnt but yeah worth it so yeah like normal all the stuff i'm using it's gonna be linked in the description just pretty much use the 4 to 14 gram Lamos Deep Rod for the whole thing, even though I was using like pretty light lures and some slightly heavier ones as well. It's perfect little all around size 4 to 14 gram, in my opinion. So, yeah, that'll be linked in the description and everything else. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you next time.